this video we're going to look at some simple if statements. First we're going to set a condition. We've got to get some input from the user. We're going to get a variable called score. And what we want to do is we want to ask them please input the well let's see let's make it more human please enter the score you received on your test and what we want to do is have it check to see if they if they've gotten 80% or better on the test and if they did they passed so we're going to hit okay and then we're going to do a quick check here and we're going to do an if condition and we're going to put an if score greater than or equal to 80 and if it's true we're going to say you passed the proficiency test you do not need to take the class. And if it's false, we're going to do a quick display of output. I'm sorry you did not test out of the class you will need to take it. So there, it's very very easy to put in a simple if statement in here. And we've just we're going to check we're going to have the user input a score if the score is greater than or equal to 80 we're going to put in that they either passed or did not pass the test. Oops. Now is the time where we're going to get into desk checking. You should always read your program before you run it. It saves you a lot of time. You'll notice here I have quotes and here I don't. So I have an error here. And I, if you can proofread your work before you compile it, it will save you a bit of time. Now we hopefully won't have any errors. Let's give it a shot. So let's say that we got a 93 on the test. All right, let's try it at exactly 80. And since it was greater than or equal, that should be okay, and it is. And we're going to test it with 23. And we're also going to test with bad data. And notice that it gives us a bunch of errors. Let's try that again. Let's try it with quotes. Oh, that is a problem. We should actually be testing for alphanumeric. Um, we should check to make sure it's a number. We're not actually doing that here, but be aware that it is reading it as if it's a number. So we could have false data pop popping through. Not a big deal at this point. In a real program, we would want to force it to actually have real data.